Good day, good people. Welcome to the Meditation Masters Facebook group. I am Brendan Holly or Machine Monk, however you know me. Um, And I wanted to answer a question that some of you may or may not have. Um, But basically, I'm answering why why am I so passionate about meditation? Um, As you can see, I've been posting about it lately. Um, I've been on less rants. (laughs) <laughs> via social media uh, fewer slid in there I'm sure um, but I wanted to answer that question um, to perhaps you know maybe inspire you or motivate you to um, focus more on meditation and, and include it in your daily uh, agendas throughout the week so um, I've written down 10 different things um, and I'll go ahead and start with number one Here's the first reason why I'm so passionate about meditation. One, after meditating, I have a more clear mind. Um, I am a ruminator, meaning my thoughts will run around my mind all day. Um, (laughs) I mean, just circling anything from what happened last year to what's going on next year, what I want to do, what I want to be, my failures. Um, There's just so many things that run around my mind that prevent me from being present Um, and so oftentimes I miss out on um, you know the great things that are happening right now because I'm focusing on so many different things Um, and meditation helps with clearing that mind so that you can focus and enjoy every moment Um, two with the clear mind I have less headaches Um, think about it it kind of makes sense if you got so much going on in your mind all day it can work you up it can You know, even though it's mental, it can physically stress you out. Um, And so I have less headaches. Um, But that's all in number one. Number two, uh, this is a big one. I feel I have more time in the day. Um, Now, I know most of us, especially, you know, some of my friends who live in Chicago and New York and the bigger cities, um, there's never enough time in the day. We're always crunching for... Uh, more time we're trying to hustle more we're trying to figure out how we can be more productive Uh, when you meditate if you notice specifically in those ones that I gave you that are 10 minutes long if you focus in for 10 minutes you'll open your eyes after that 10 minutes and go wow that's the longest 10 minutes I've ever had in my life (laughs) and it's not the longest 10 minutes you've ever had in your life that's how long 10 minutes really is it's just when you have a million and one thoughts running around your head all day, every minute can, you know, seem like a second. I know, especially when I'm rushing in the morning, um, you know, I'll look at the clock and I'm like, okay, 10 minutes. I got 10 minutes to finish this shower. It seems like one minute later, that timer's going off. And I'm like, come on, man. Like, I need another 10. So, you know, meditation, one of the benefits for me is that I feel like I have more time. Um, and maybe you'll feel the same once you begin to practice. Um, number three, third reason why I'm so passionate about meditating, um, is I'm more productive and it makes sense, especially looking at the one I just said before, you know, if I feel I have more time in a day, that's more time to achieve the goals that I want to achieve for the day. Um, so just lost my train of thought for a second. I'm back. (laughs) Um, But yeah, I just feel more productive. Um, You know, I saw I was tracking the things I did in a day um, without being focused. Maybe I can do, you know, three tasks a day, three, you know, major mixed with minor tasks a day. Um, And I noticed once I started meditating, that three went up to like 20. So. But that's also with that's also with planning and, and making sure I take notes and uh, setting agendas. But when you have that stuff on top of meditation, you can accomplish a ton of things. Um, number four, which I kind of mentioned that a little bit, more focus. Um, that's one of the reasons, one of the big reasons why I am passionate about meditation is because I'm more focused. In case you don't know, I was diagnosed with adult ADD. Uh, I was taking Adderall, um, and I you know, felt like it had me in the zone for a while, but then it didn't feel like enough. Um, and one of the things about that is that's a controlled substance. And 
most people when they take it they go up they go up they go up they go up it's like legal speed um and i didn't want to be addicted to anything that's you know controlling my heart rate and and doing all kinds of different things um you know all kinds of different side effects when i i have a natural remedy and that's meditation um you know when i meditate and clear my mind um it allows me to pinpoint the important things that i need to focus on and then i do just that <laughs> you know what i mean i spend my day focusing on those instead of focusing on man i wish i could have did that right last year i wish i didn't piss that person off a few years ago so maybe i have a blog connect <laughs> you know what i mean like stuff like that like you know i i I can't focus on that because I'm focused on what I need to do right now. Um, number five, fifth reason why I'm so passionate about meditating. Um, less anger and less anxiety. Uh, in case you don't know, uh, I'm a nice guy, but I've always had a, a temper. Um, and so, you know, that's got me in trouble time and time again. It almost got me killed. It almost made me kill somebody. Um, <laughs> so it was important for me, still important for me to practice meditation because it calms me down. Um, you know, when you're chill about, I guess when you have a chill vibration, it's hard for, you know, the external world to get to you as much as it would as if you had a million thoughts running around in your head. And, you know, on top of that, you got somebody cutting you off in traffic or you got somebody looking at you crazy. Or you got somebody talking outside their neck. <laughs> you know, on top of that, you feel like busting them inside the head. But I assure you, after um, you know, I've been practicing meditation for a little while, um, and it's helped me, you know, get that get that under control. Can I do better? For sure, <laughs> but um, it definitely helps keep me at an even even kill. Um, number six, it kind of goes with that. Um, meditation helps me have calmer actions. Um, so that I'm not always reacting to things. Because when you think about it, you know, whenever you do something bad, nine times out of ten, you're probably reacting to something. Um, with the exception of those few psychopaths that just walk around like, I'm about to murk people all day. Um, you know, I'm about to murk a box of kittens. Um, so, you know, I, I noticed that I definitely have calmer reactions. Uh, well, calmer actions. Um, you know, the so that I'm not reacting um, in a less than desirable way. Number seven, seventh reason why I'm so passionate about meditating is I'm more intuitive um, and I'm more in tune with myself. Um, when you think about it, when you're sitting down and meditating and you're just listening to yourself, you're just being like you hear your heartbeat um, and you hear it at a natural state. You're not hearing it. You know, oftentimes we hear it when there's a... Um, an intense moment, a moment of anxiety, something's going on, something that happened bad, we got into a car accident, about to get into a fight, somebody just pissed us off, <laughs> you know, when you can sit and listen to your heartbeat in a calm state and just really get in tune with yourself, um, it's a beautiful thing because you, you realize how human you are, um, how natural you are, you get to hear the mechanism that's keeping you alive, that machine that's pumping you, um, that we often, you know, don't get to listen to. Uh, at a time of, of calmness and stillness. Uh, number eight, the eighth reason why I am so passionate about meditating, healthier relationships. Um, I know one thing that has sabotaged my relationships, not just as in like intimate relationships, but I'm talking about family, you know, friends, uh, as well as just the stories that circle around your head. If you're a ruminate, your, your mind just circle around your, your thought just circle around your mind. Um, you know, you'll, you'll come up with these stories about people, you know, somebody give you a funny look and you thinking, oh, that person got a problem with me. These stories are assumptions, um, you know, or you assume things about people from the past. You assume they don't care about you because they do this. You assume they, um, I don't know. There's all kinds of different assumptions, but one of the things that, you know, meditation helps you with is to help you be present. That stuff doesn't matter right now, you know, and, and two, you learn to realize that's just an assumption. These are stories I've been telling myself, um, and I'm sure some of you can relate, especially those of you who deal with depression, because that's nothing but us just telling ourselves horror stories about ourselves. Um, 
So, number nine. <laughs> the ninth reason as to why I'm so passionate about meditating. Uh, it's a very practical one, but um, respiratory health. It helps with that. Uh, mine has improved. Um, I had bronchitis over this winter break. Um, I had to be put on an inhaler. Um, on top of having very bad um, sinus issues and everything like that my chest was getting messed up and so you know instead of me having to take this inhaler I, with me doing heavy breathing exercises and whatnot during meditation I don't have to take that inhaler anymore you know I may have to take it once every like two weeks or something like that but I was having to take it like two three times a day um and so you can go and look those facts up. You know, that stuff is, that's facts. That it helps with respiratory health. It helps with heart health. Um, it helps with mental health, obviously. Um, but that's one of the reasons why I've been like, whew, I love this. I don't have to take that inhaler and I don't have to worry about, am I about to croak? Um, not trying to pay any hospital bills. Number 10. The final reason why I'm so passionate about meditating it's a very simple one, um, and I think everybody will, you know, be able to see this if you begin to practice it. You feel better. I feel so much better after meditating. Um, I'm talking about I could have the worst day of my life. Um, you know, uh, me and Sway can be mad at each other about something stupid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It happens in relationships. We all do it. Um you know, I could be mad about uh, my work situation or mad about the politics that's going on. Um, oftentimes, we result to some kind of vice. We drink, we smoke, um, we do, you know, we drink caffeine. We, we do all kinds of things to um, make ourselves feel better. But this is one that you can do this completely free. And it, I kid you not, it is a natural high. I am a person who knows what it feels like to be unnaturally high. <laughs> and that's great. But those things cost money. This one doesn't. And you can do this anytime. You can be in the middle. You know, I've, I've, I've been, you know, a job interview, pull up, start meditating. I got the, the meditation music on my phone, plug it into the system and, and meditate. You know, before working, I meditate. Um, before working out, I meditate. Before writing music and producing, I meditate. You know, so that I have that straight up clear state of mind and that natural high is kicked in to where I just feel good. Before doing this video, I've meditated. <laughs> um, I'm at about 30 minutes today. Um, so I'm getting up there. The most I've done is 40, but I want to start doing... You know, days when I ain't got nothing to do, I want to do like hour meditations just because I feel like it's like a mind bath. Um, but those are my top 10 reasons and why I'm so passionate about meditating. Um, I hope you learned something from it. You got something from it. I hope I was able to inspire somebody with this. My overall goal, um, and this is just my life goal, I'm sharing something personal here, um, is to raise the vibration of the planet. So that means every opportunity I get to meditate with somebody, whether that's a complete stranger or whether that's my mother, who I meditated with for the first time this week, um, and my cousin, um, his way was there too. But yeah, my goal is to meditate, um, well, to raise the vibration of the planet, um, and I'm going to do that through meditation. So if any of you are in my area, I'm in the Indianapolis area, um, and you would like to meditate, I will be more than happy to uh, meditate with you. You can join me. Would that be my place or yours? Would that be in the car? I meditate in the car um, with someone. Um, you know, it, it doesn't matter, but I'm, I'm happy about spreading the good news. So please um, post. Uh, enjoy the group. If you have any questions, ask me questions. You can ask uh, Sway questions, Consuela Victoria. Um, that's my lady. Uh, be respectful. And uh, yes, uh, welcome to Meditation Masters. Y'all have a good night, good week, and uh, get to meditating.